welcome back to Green Eyed Yogi. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video and joining me for your practice. So it is officially fall and just like spring, it is a transitional season as we're moving from the warm days of summer into the cooler, crisper days of winter and fall. So I figured we would do a fall themed yoga flow today. This will be about a 50 minute yoga flow based off of the idea of fall and this transitional time in all of our lives. So we'll be focusing on things like grounding ourselves down and back Balance, as those are two big big themes that I always return to when it comes to any big transition in my life or any change that we move through. It's always good to find ourselves a little bit more grounded so that we can get our bearings and move through this transitional time. We will not be using any props today, so all you'll need is a mat and a nice little space to move and groove in. If that sounds like something you'd be interested in, then let's get into the flow. So to begin our practice today, we're going to come and find ourselves a nice comfortable seat. Um, feel free to place a blanket or a pillow underneath the hips to raise them up a little bit. And the feet can be either crisscross applesauce or one foot in front of the other, whichever feels most comfortable for you guys today. And as we are Scooting down onto our bottoms here as we're getting nice and comfy. We'll draw those hands to the knees. Hands either up towards the sky or our fingertips down on top of the knees. Again, whatever resonates with you. You really want to listen to our bodies here and just try to listen and give as much as we can here. So, as we're coming into our nice seated position, feel free to gently close the eyes or at least soften the gaze. Starting to become a little bit more aware of our breath as it flows in through our nose, down into the lungs, down all the way into the diaphragm. Not completely trying to move it or change it in any ways, but just kind of becoming aware of it. As we're becoming aware of our breath, I want you to take this moment to start a mental scan of the body. Starting from the top of the head, sending it all the way down to the tips of the toes. Noticing where the body is at, right here, right now. Beginning to become aware of any tension or any soreness that you may feel throughout the body. Making sure that as we move through our practice today, we send a little extra love and space to those parts of the body. And as well as we are searching out for those tight and a little bit cranky places, we're also searching out for the parts of the body that feel good. You may have heard me say this a million times, but quite often we spend our days walking around, using our bodies, and only really noticing the body when it is hurt or sick or not properly functioning. Take this moment, take this time to seek out the parts of the body that feel good, that are working at their optimal levels, Sending a little space and gratitude, love and appreciation to those parts of the body as well. As you slowly finish out your mental scan of the body, taking your time here, we will start to turn our awareness more focused towards the breath. From here, I want you to truly feel that air flowing into your body Noticing where it goes to and allowing it to release nice and easy. From here, we're going to start to modulate the breath just a little bit to manipulate it just ever so slightly. We're going to start to deepen our inhale. As we do so, we're going to send it all the way down through the chest, through the lungs, and down into the diaphragm. That little bit of space between uh, the belly button and the pelvis. Filling it up with air. If you're having a hard time bringing your awareness to the breath, feel free to draw your hand onto the stomach and feel as with every breath it rises here and with every exhale it falls. with each and every breath, allowing that breath to get a little bit deeper, a little bit more full, 
Perhaps you notice that your inhales and your exhales are a little bit more prolonged, taking a little bit more time with each and every breath. At this time, if you'd like to set an intention for your practice, you may do so at this time. You do not have to, but if you'd like to, an intention can be a word or a phrase, something you'd like to gain from your practice today, or something you'd like to take off the mat with you once you leave. If you do decide to set an intention for your practice today, I encourage you to repeat it to yourself three times to seal in all of its beautiful vibrational energy. And as you repeat that intention to yourself one final time, we're going to take the biggest breath that we've taken so far, really focusing here. We're going to take as much air as we possibly can into the lungs, down into that diaphragm. And exhaling it out. From here, we're going to really start to engage with that fall energy here. So like we talked about earlier at the beginning of the class, at the beginning of our practice, about how we were going to be focusing on grounding work today and balancing. As we sit here nice and snug on our bottoms here, we're going to really begin to visualize that grounding work that we're working on. Everything that we're going to be doing today, even our balancing poses, are we're really looking to find our balance and our grounding through that balance. So we're trying to find our roots. So as we're sitting here, nice and comfy, I want you to imagine that underneath you, beautiful roots are taking up space here into the ground, rooting you down into the earth, allowing you to find a little bit more energy from the earth. If you'd like to turn your attention to the root chakra, you may start to envision this beautiful red light around the base of the spine. You may feel a warm energy here and really envisioning those roots taking up space below you. Remembering that you are a strong as the trees that you see out around you. Remembering that you are such a strong human. You are such a strong person. And that whatever life may throw at you, you can return to find balance and grounding energy. We'll take three deep cleansing breaths here, in through the nose and out through the mouth, preparing our bodies for movement. As we're doing so, allow yourself to release anything that no longer serves you with each and every exhale allowing yourself to make space for things that you want to draw into your life, for things that you want in abundance, and for the love and peace around you. After your third and final cleansing breath, we'll start to reawaken the body. First, we'll start by reawakening the fingertips and the toes little tiny micro movements throughout the body just really gently waking up the body feel free to keep your eyes still closed here taking it in to the neck perhaps you move the shoulders nice and easy just waking up the body Perhaps you shift to one hip or the other. So we're sitting here, just nice and gentle. And whenever you're ready, we're gonna draw the knees up towards the chest here, hugging them in. 
giving ourselves a nice big hug here. We'll bow the head down. And then as we come up through center, we'll draw that chest forward and the head can go up towards the sky. And back down to center. From here, we're going to bring the soles of the feet together, knees sway out towards either side, coming into Baddha Konasana. As we're moving through any of these poses, as we're sitting on our bottoms here, feel free to continue to visualize that beautiful root system growing underneath you, drawing you down towards the earth and grounding you down to this beautiful planet here. As we come into our Baddha Konasana, soles of the feet are together. The feet can be as far away from the body or as close to the body as you like. We're really sitting up on those sit bones, so feel free to move the fatty parts of the butt to the side if you need to. And to begin, we're going to bring the hands to the ankles to start. From here, we can draw the elbows down into either thigh, just opening up those hips just a little bit more. If your arms are a little shorter like mine, feel free to always release the ankles if necessary, but just gently pushing down in to those thighs here. We're not cranking them down, just nice and gentle, allowing those hips to open with gravity and the weight of our uh, forearms here. Coming back, we can either bring the hands to the toes here or we can walk them out in front of us as we forward fold into our first forward fold of the practice. So I'm going to scoot back just a little bit so I have a little bit more space on the frame here. And then we're going to sit up nice and tall, chest draws forward. Exhale, we'll forward fold. Once again, you can walk those hands out in front of you if you'd like. And we'll just gently forward fold over those feet. Taking a nice deep breath in and out. We'll slowly walk the hands back towards the body here. Sitting up nice and tall, we'll loop those shoulders back behind us and returning into that nice seated position once again. From here, we're gonna start to engage with the shoulders just a little bit, opening up through that chest just a little bit more. We're gonna roll those shoulders back behind us, nice and easy. Taking it forward here. And then coming up to center. Feel free to move the neck around for just a few moments here. If there is any point in the head or the neck that feels like it needs a little extra love, a little extra attention, feel free to listen to those parts of the body and give them the attention they so desperately deserve. Giving a moment here, if you'd like, you can always bring the hands to the back of the neck, giving yourself a nice gentle massage, taking that nice moment of some self-care and some self-love. And then gently coming back up to center here. From here, I'm going to turn towards my uh, left here so that we can get into our next pose. We're going to be transitioning into boat pose. So we're going to take our feet out in front of us here. Bend in the knees. Feet are on the ground here. From here, we can bring our hands back behind us. Fingertips pointing towards our feet, towards our bottoms here, and placing them down on the mat. We're gonna loop those shoulders back behind us, okay? So we're not hunching forward, we're not sagging back. We're gonna loop those shoulders back behind us. And from here, we can stay right here with our back reclined just a little bit and the toes or the feet firmly placed down onto the mat. This is completely fine to stay here. You can come up onto the toes if you'd like, nice and gentle. You can come up to a um, parallel with the feet parallel to the ground here. Toes pointed out or flexed, whatever feels most comfortable to you. Or we can take it all the way up towards the sky here. Remembering that we don't wanna uh, sink into that back here, so really using our hands here to really help us here. Deep breath in 
and out. We're still working with that grounding energy down through our spine, down in towards the earth. One more breath here. And out. Great job, guys. We'll put those feet back down onto the mat and taking the legs out along in front of us. From here, we're going to sit up nice and tall. Once again, moving any of those fatty parts of the butt out of the way if we like. And sitting up nice and tall, we'll take our arms up overhead. Exhale, we're going to forward fold towards these feet, okay? So our hands can come either to the calves, to the ankles, to the big toes if you'd like, or you can bring the hands to the bottoms of the feet, walking yourself down even more. Whatever feels most comfortable to you. Taking that moment here to assess where you're at today and taking a nice deep breath in, we'll forward fold over those legs. slowly rise back up still working with that grounding energy down through the spine we're gonna leave that left foot extended all the way out drawing that right foot in so we're placing the right foot up against the left thigh left thigh or left leg is extended all the way out flex left foot here right knee is bent and we're gonna sit up nice and tall exhale we're gonna forward fold towards that left foot here well hello there Heath You wanna lay with us? You gonna do the yogas with us? From here, we're gonna slowly rise back up. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So we're gonna take that right leg out long. We're gonna bend that left knee. Left foot comes into the right thigh so that we have that little bit of space here. Inhaling, arms come up. Exhale, we're gonna forward fold towards that right foot. Head bows down towards the knee here. And then we'll slowly rise back up. Great job, guys. From here, we're gonna bring it back into our seated position as we roll forward into our tabletop. So as we're rolling forward into our tabletop, I like to cross my ankles here, rolling up onto the knees, and then taking the feet back behind me as I come onto my hands and knees here. So from here, we're gonna firmly check our alignment. We want to make sure that our knees are directly underneath our hip points stacked here. Our feet are splaying back right behind those knees so that when we gaze back towards our knees, our feet are just gently hiding behind them. In the front, we want our shoulders, elbows, wrists stacked. And once we have this alignment, that neutral spine here, we're going to take a nice deep breath in and out. And then from here, we're gonna move through our cat and cow sequence. So on our next inhale, we're gonna take our gaze up the wall in front of us, belly lowers down towards the earth as our tailbone rises up towards the sky. Chest comes forward. Exhale, we'll round through that spine. Gaze goes back towards our navel, back towards our knees. Tailbone is tucked here. And then moving at the same pace here as our breath, we'll inhale back to cow. Exhaling into cat. Moving at your own pace, at your own time here. Really allowing each and every vertebrae to move and groove in their own space, in their own time. We'll do two more of these at your own pace, at your own time, and then we'll meet back in this tabletop position, okay? So taking your time with these last two, And 
coming to me back in tabletop. From here, we're just gonna play a little bit with all of the fall energy. There's a lot of air energy, a lot of vata energy. So just allow yourself to play for just a second here, kind of moving around, allowing yourself to play, if you will. And then we're gonna find some stillness once again. From here, we're going to keep our hips up high. Knees are exactly where they are. They're gonna stay there. And then we're gonna slowly but gently walk the hands out in front of us, coming into a half puppy dog pose or a puppy dog variation. As we're coming down, we're keeping active arms the entire time. Hips are really high in the air here as we're opening up through our chest down towards the earth. As we do so, we're gonna keep those arms active the entire time, but you may feel free to place the forehead down on the mat if that feels comfortable. And then slowly we're gonna engage with those hands, really building up our strength here. We're gonna press into the hands and slowly walk the hands back towards our body coming back into that tabletop position once again. From here, we're gonna bring the big toes to touch and knees go as wide as our mats as we sink it back and down into child's pose. From here, feel free to take the arms out long in front of you, or if you'd like a little bit more of a restorative pose with the hands, feel free to take them back towards the feet. Whatever feels most comfortable here, Placing that forehead down on the earth, really reconnecting with our intention, reconnecting with our breath here, taking a moment. And then from here, if your hands are behind your back, we're gonna take them back out in front of us. As we do so, we're gonna engage with our hands here, really taking all 10 fingers out, pressing them down into the earth. From here, we're gonna press up with the hips, curling the toes underneath us. As we curl the toes underneath us, we're gonna pick those hips up and back, sending it up and back into downward facing dog. As this is our first down dog of the practice, feel free to get your bearings here to really get set up. Feel free to walk out the dog if that feels comfortable to you. Getting an alternate bend in each knee. Getting a nice stretch in those calves if that feels good. Remembering to allow the head to just hang here. We're not overworking that neck. Doesn't need to be looking at anything in particular. Just letting it hang. And then from here, we're gonna walk the hands towards the feet here, coming into a standing forward fold. Once we're in this nice forward fold, just allow yourself to hang here for just a moment. Feel free to grab onto alternating elbows, gently rocking side to side if you'd like in a ragdoll stretch. Once again, just letting that head hang here as we do. And I want you to take this moment as we're just hanging out here to really connect with the feet. So as we are standing here, this is our first standing pose, if you will. I want you to really visualize those roots that we imagine and we visualize coming from the base of the spine. And I want you to envision those coming out from the feet here as well. Our feet are our main source of transportation for most of us here. And they touch the earth all the time, taking us from one place to another. They truly are our um, contact, our main source of contact with the earth. So just visualizing these roots coming out from the feet. And then whenever you're ready, we're going to release the hands back down towards the earth if you have them crossed. And we're going to gently bend the knees as we come all the way up into a standing position. 
As we do so, feel free to roll those shoulders back nice and gentle. Really opening up through that chest. And then we're going to take the arms up above us, okay? So as we take the arms up above us, we're going to bring our left hand to our right wrist and allow ourselves to reach up first bringing that right hand to the left or the left hand to the right wrist and we're going to take it over towards the left side of our body coming up through center we'll reach up once again up towards the sky this time bringing the right hand to the left wrist taking it over to the right and coming back up to center, we'll reach up through those fingertips. And exhale, drawing the hands down to heart center. Once again, taking this moment to really connect with the feet. So I'm going to readjust here so I can really uh, connect my feet to my mat here. Hands are at heart center, gently closing the eyes if you'd like here. And we're really connecting those root energy here into the feet allowing ourselves to really ground ourselves down in this practice. Remembering that anything that might cross our mind that is off the mat is just simply something out of a different time. Focusing right here, right now, on the present moment. Grounding ourselves down here. Whenever you're ready, feel free to lower the hands down towards your side and gently flutter the eyes open. From here, we're going to move through the feet just a little bit to get a little bit more acquainted with the feet in our practice today. Feel free to come up onto the balls of the feet or move them in whatever way feels most comfortable for you today. A lot of the stuff that I'm saying in our practice here is merely a suggestion, honestly, and whatever you feel like your body is really asking for, I very much urge you to try to give it and try to listen to it as much as possible in what your body wants here. Bye, Heath. So once we become a little bit more acquainted with our feet here, I'm going to turn to the side once again, and we're going to come into our first balancing pose, okay? So we're going to firmly press down into our right foot, okay? And as we do so, we're going to draw that left knee up. From here, we're going to grab onto that left knee, bringing it up as much as you want here into the chest, really rooting down into that right foot, okay? So we're really pressing down into all four corners of that right foot. Nice deep breath in and out. From here, feel free to roll through that left ankle. If you get some nice cracks and pops like me, uh, that is completely okay. Just the ankle working itself out here. He is working on a scratching post now. He's doing his own form of connecting with his feet. We'll point and flex that left foot. And then coming back to center here. So I want you to find a focal point out in front of you here. We're working on our balance here. So I want you to find a focal point out in front of you, keeping your gaze on that here. Now, from here, I'm going to ask you to remove your gaze from that focal point. So we're going to bring our right hand to that left knee. And as we do so, oop, not lose our balance here. Let me recollect myself. So we're going to press down into that right foot. Left knee is up in our hands here. We're going to bring our right hand to that left knee, holding it up here. And we're going to take that left hand out back behind us. I have a nice wall here, so I'm going to try not to touch it as much as I can. And we're going to take our gaze back behind us towards our left hand. If you feel stable here, if you feel secure, feel free to take both arms out long. Getting a nice little stretch here. Nice twisting action. And then coming back to center, grabbing on to that left knee once again. 
From here, we'll gently release that left knee down towards the earth, coming to stand on both feet once again, and we'll just walk it out through the feet here. So you might have felt a little bit of action, a little bit of heat happening in that right leg. Feel free to really be um, observant of this kind of energy here. As we do so, we're walking those legs out. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So from here, I'm gonna turn to face the other way for you guys. We're gonna place firmly down into the earth with our left foot. As we do so, we're gonna draw that right knee up into our chest. Nice deep breath in. Finding that focal point to help us with our balance here. And working out through that ankle. So rotating that right ankle this time. Like I said, if you have any cracks or pops here, feel free to just roll over those spaces a few times. If you lose your balance at any point during any of our balancing poses today, just feel free to come back up into the pose. And then we'll point and flex that right foot. And then finding some stillness here. So really hugging that left or this right knee into the chest. We'll bring our left hand to that right knee, and then we'll slowly twist it out. So taking our right hand out behind us, finding a focal point behind us. Whoop. Like I said, if you come out of the pose, just come right back up into it. Taking a deep breath here. If you'd like a little bit more from this pose, feel free to release that left hand, taking it all the way out into this twist. And then coming back to center, re-grabbing on to that right knee. And exhaling, we'll bring that right foot back down onto the mat. Once again, we're gonna walk it out through the feet here. And then we're gonna take a nice deep breath in. Arms come up, exhale, we're gonna forward fold here. So forward folding down over our feet. Letting that head hang here. Inhale, we're gonna halfway lift, crown of the head reaches forward. Exhale, we're gonna forward fold. Nice and easy, we'll slowly rise all the way back up, moving vertebrae by vertebrae until we come all the way up to standing. And as we do, we're going to roll those shoulders back just a few times. Great job, guys. From here, we're going to move into our last balancing pose, our last standing sequence of this practice. So we're going to start by pressing down into our right foot this time, okay? So we're going to press firmly down into that right foot. We're going to start moving into our tree pose. So with tree pose, we have three different variations, all very beautiful and very practical in their own ways. So trying to choose which one is for you today, really listen to your body and see what it's calling for, what it's asking for. So, like I said, we're going to start with our right foot as our tree, as our stump here, as our, um, what is the trunk of our tree, and as our roots. So we're going to firmly press down into all four corners of our left, or our right foot. And as we do so, we can come into the first version of our tree pose, which is our kickstand. So kickstand, we're going to bring that a left foot up against the right here. The left toes are down onto the mat still, and our foot is just gently resting up against the right uh, leg here. If we're staying here in our kickstand, feel free to bring the hands to heart center. They can come up above. They can come out into whatever beautiful tree branch formation that you choose. However, if you'd like to go a little bit further here, we're going to firmly press down into that right foot some more, and then we pick up that uh, left foot and place it onto our calf. So when it's on our calf here, we're pressing the right calf into the left foot firmly here. We're really actively pressing both into each other to get a nice equal amount of energy, 
going towards each other here, helping us find our balance a little bit more. Once again, hands can come to heart center, up above, or tree branch it out. Taking a nice deep breath in, or actively pressing against the earth. And if you'd like to go just a little bit further, we can bring this left foot all the way up into the thigh here. Making sure that no matter which version that you're doing here, whether it is calf or on the thigh, that we're not pressing that foot anywhere near the knee as it is a very, very delicate joint. So we want to make sure that we're pressing against things that are a lot stronger, a lot more active here. So once we have that left foot up against the right thigh, once again, just like that calf, we're sucking them in together here. We're actively pressing each other away from each other here and from here we're actively pressing against the earth standing up nice and tall hands can come to heart center up above or the tree branches come out nice and long you do not have to be a stagnant tree here you can stay moving you can stay still whatever feels most comfortable to you and no matter what pose you are in or what version you are in of our tree pose today, the one last added challenge here, if you'd like, is to gently close the eyes, allowing yourself to really focus on that balance. Nice deep breath in. And out. Wherever you are in this pose here, we're going to take our arms up overhead. Exhale, drawing them down to heart center. From here, we're going to take that, ooh, that left knee forward first and then gently sliding it back down onto the mat. Great job, guys. Nice deep breath in here. Arms come up. Exhale, we're going to forward fold, allowing that head to just hang down here. Inhale, we'll halfway lift. Exhale, we'll forward fold. And slowly we'll rise all the way back up, moving vertebrae by vertebrae once again. Rolling the shoulders back behind us once again. So we're going to do all of that on the other side this time. We're going to go a little bit quicker since we've already walked through the poses. So we're going to firmly press down into that left foot. We're pressing into all four corners of that left foot, pressing away from the earth, standing up nice and tall, really tightening here. And then we're going to move through those three different variations, whether it's kickstand, onto our calf, or all the way up into our thigh, making sure we're not pressing against that uh, knee joint here. And then the arms can come to heart center, up above, or growing nice long tree trunks. Feel free to close the eyes here and really root down into that left foot today. Remembering that this transitional season may do a lot to move things around for us, to change things up, but we can always come back to our breath and back to our body to ground ourselves down and find a little bit of balance. That may mean that some of the things in our lives do have to change, habits of everyday things, but it allows us to find a more beautiful balance in the future as we just change a few little things here or there, whether that's the active pressing against the earth, the gentle calming and trusting of our bodies. Taking one more deep breath here, and wherever the hands are, we'll take them up above us on an inhale. Exhale, we'll draw those hands down to heart center. And then we'll move that right knee forward here, tracking it down in front of us. And slowly sliding that right foot back down onto the mat here. From here, we'll do a little shake out. Take, take a moment to get a little silly, get a little bit of movement into the body. Feel free to sway back and forth, whatever feels most comfortable to you. Remembering that no one is here to judge you. Hmm. Good job, guys. From here, we're going to take a nice deep breath in. Arms come up. Exhale, we're going to forward fold it out here, okay? So we're going to forward fold down towards the earth. 
Inhale, we're going to halfway lift, crown of the head reaches forward. Exhale, we're going to forward fold. And from here, we're going to start to walk the hands out in front of us, coming into our downward facing dog. As we are in this nice downward facing dog, feel free to walk out those knees once again, walking out the dog. We're going to shift our weight forward, coming into a plank pose here. Readjust the feet if you need to. Looking towards the front of our mat here, you can either draw the knees down or really engage with that core here as we slowly lower the entire body down onto the mat. Bringing the tops of the feet onto the mat here. We're going to slowly press up into our, sphinx, or our baby cobra. Exhaling down, and then slowly we're going to push up and back into our child's pose here. So we're going to take the knees out wide, big toes come together as we sink the hips back down into child's pose, taking this moment once again to reconnect with our intention here. Reconnect with our breath. And then we'll slowly walk the hands back towards the body. From here, we're going to slowly start to wind down our practice. So we're going to take the feet back out in front of us here, coming to rest onto our bottoms. As we take the feet out nice and long, we're going to do one more seated forward fold here. So the arms are going to come up. Exhale down towards our feet here. And slowly we'll roll back up into our seated position. From here we're going to come down onto our backs, onto our mat here, resting all the way down into the ground. And we're going to gently draw the knees up into the chest here. So as we draw the knees up into the chest, we'll hug them out for Upanasana. Feel free to roll side to side, giving the lower back a nice gentle massage between gravity and the earth below you. And then we're going to do some supine twists here. So first we're going to take the knees over towards the right side of our body here, stacking the knees on top of each other, okay? From here we're going to take the arms out into a T formation. Now you have three options with your gaze here. You can either take it over towards your right hand, up towards the ceiling, or over towards the left, getting a little bit deeper into the supine twist. Taking a nice deep breath in. And then slowly engaging with the core, we're going to take the knees back up towards the ceiling and slowly lowering them down onto the other side. So we're going to take those legs over to the left now, supine twist. Arms are still out in that T formation, so feel free to either take your gaze over to the left, up towards the ceiling, or over towards the right to get a little bit more out of this supine twist. Great job guys. Once again, engaging with that core, we're going to take it up through center. One last time here, we're going to hug those knees in for Apanasana. Inhale, we're going to draw the nose up towards the knees, nice and gentle. Exhale, releasing it back down. And from here, we're going to place both soles of the feet down onto the mat. As we do so, we're going to firmly press down into that left foot first picking the right foot up, crossing that right ankle over the left knee. If this feels good to you, feel free to stay right here. However, if you'd like a little bit more from this figure four stretch, we can gently lift that left foot off the ground, taking our right hand, threading it through this little hole we've created, and interlocking behind the left thigh. Now you may feel this pose down in to the sciatic nerve area or the area where the lower back meets the glutes here. 
If not, that is completely fine. But just take your time here. If you'd like to get a little bit deeper into the pose, you may extend out through that left foot or simply draw that left knee closer into the chest here. Nice deep breath in and out. From here, we'll release that left thigh back down so that the left foot can come back down onto the mat. We'll release our right ankle from our left knee and cross our left ankle this time over our right knee. Same thing, if this feels great to you, feel free to stay here. However, if you'd like a little bit more, we'll thread this left hand through, interlocking the fingertips behind the right thigh and picking that right thigh up here. We can extend up through that right foot if you'd like or simply draw that right knee closer to the chest. Nice deep breaths here. And slowly releasing that right foot back down onto the mat. We'll release that left ankle from the right knee and slowly take both legs out long down our mats here. We're going to take a nice deep breath in here and out, allowing ourselves to surrender down towards the mat. slowly calm through the body, allowing each and every part of us to just melt down into the earth just a little bit more, feeling grounded, feeling balanced here, being thankful for this moment. If you have more time here, feel free to stay here and give yourself a beautiful Shavasana, pausing the video, allowing yourself to relax down, quiet the mind. However, if this is all the time you have for us today, we're going to slowly start to reawaken that body nice and gentle, nice and slow. Whenever you're ready, we'll roll over onto your favorite side into a fetal position. Taking that top arm, allowing yourself to press yourself up into a seated position one last time here. We'll come into either a crisscross applesauce or one leg in front of the other, relaxing through the shoulders, taking a nice deep breath in. In, excuse me. And we'll gently start to close out this practice. In doing so, we're going to take the arms up overhead, allowing them to kiss above us. Kissing meaning to bring the hands together here, up above us. We're going to draw the hands down in three stages. The first, we're going to draw the hands down so that the thumbs graze our forehead. We stop here to remember that our thoughts have so much control over the things that we do, the things that we say, and the way that we feel, but we have control over these thoughts. So I encourage you to observe your thoughts, to learn from them and grow with them. Allow yourself to cultivate a mindset of positivity available to you at any and all times. Slowly we'll draw the hands down to in front of the mouth. We stop here to remember that our words are powerful. Our words are so incredibly powerful. With them, they bring the ability to change our lives, to change others' lives, 
and to change the world. So as you go out into the world, as you leave your mat today, I encourage you to speak kindness onto others as well as onto yourself. Allow that beautiful light that begins within you to shine out and touch other people's lives. Slowly and finally, we'll draw the hands down to heart center, the final resting place of our hands in today's practice. We stop here to remember how amazing we truly are. We take this moment to thank ourselves for coming to the mat today, for doing something purely and totally for ourselves. We thank our bodies for all that they do for us. We thank our minds for all that they do for us. We thank ourselves for all that we do, for every achievement we've ever achieved, for every obstacle we've overcome. We thank ourselves, the world, and our community around us for every opportunity we've ever received and every opportunity that's still waiting just around the corner. Remembering how truly beautiful, courageous, and amazing you truly are. I'd like to take this moment to thank you so incredibly much for sharing your big, beautiful, magical practice with me today. The light in me truly sees honors, respects, and loves the light in each and every single one of you. Until we meet again, namaste. I just want to take this moment to thank you guys so, so incredibly much once again for clicking on today's video and joining me for your big, beautiful, magical practice. I truly, truly appreciate getting to share in this with you guys. Definitely, if you ever want to tag me in your flows or in your practice, you can always tag me at Green Eyed Yogi on Instagram. I would love to see your pictures, love to see your videos. And above all, thank you guys just so much for watching and spending time with me. If you like today's flow and would like more more like it, please give it a big thumbs up. If there are any other specific flows that you would like to see me do in the future, you can always leave those down in the comment box down below. And above all, hit that subscribe button so that you are notified anytime that I post a new video. I love you guys so incredibly much. I hope you have a great day, a great week, and I will see you on the mat next week. Bye!